No matter what your age, go out and be able to uh, purchase uh, cocaine. What do you think about that idea? Barack, what a crime. Obama says Hillary didn't jeopardize national security with her email. What? Even though he states at the same time. I haven't been sorting through each and every aspect of this. What planet does this turd come from? I know. No, no. He goes on to justify what she did by playing a round of double speed. There are, there's classified and then there's classified. <laughs> Come on, man. This is just like when he lied while he was campaigning. They weren't lies, change of channel, they were campaign promises. Come on, man. He lied or he didn't, period. She emailed classified information or she didn't, period. It's like saying there's guilty and then there's guilty. What's the freaking difference, get him, Bruce? <laughs> And speaking about that, we in the United States have elections. And then there's elections. <laughs> in the then there's elections. We don't need to count votes in certain cases. We can just flip a coin and decide the winner. <laughs> in the then there's elections. Elections are canceled and political pricks pick for the voters instead. <laughs> It doesn't matter who the people vote for, if the party fat cats don't agree with the vote, it's... They're black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Michelle, give me the cash before I pitch a fit. Obama says she can't wait to get out of the White House. <laughs> well, well, well. Mm, I have to say that this is the first thing we actually agree on. Bye-bye. the kid. Now it's time for hypocrisy at his finest. Raw story. A left wing rag. Bosa story titled Obama explains Trump's ride. Republicans have their own TV station. As though Democrats don't have their own. <laughs> At his finest. And to boot down in the article, raw story, it quotes, What a crime. It's also saying the Democrats do as well. So, why wasn't that in the headlines also? And what did that have to do with Trump? Hypocrisy <laughs> at his finest. Below this article resides the next story. Headlines blazing. Black televangelist kicks off Donald Trump rally by claiming that black people don't exist. Of course, in the article, we find out that he also said the same thing about all the other races. Hypocrisy at his finest. In the same article, it states, the North Carolina pastor had previously made headlines for calling on Bernie Sanders to convert to Christianity and scolding Pope Francis for criticizing Trump's immigrant rhetoric. Notice the keyword rhetoric, pushing a word that means language designed to have a persuasive or impressive effect on its audience, but often regarded as lacking in sincerity and meaningful content. Now, if this was in reference to their savior, what a crime. it would read blah 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 for criticizing Obama's policy on immigration. Keyword policy, of course a principle of action adopted or proposed by a government, party, business, or individual. Individual. Hypocrisy at its finest. Here's something to think about. I'll change the channel. And I'm out.